All right, so I had to fix my camera today. The microphone was acting kind of funky. Uh, so, anyways, uh, new software for the Plalu chip that goes into the Iron Man helmet. So, as you can see, lights are off. Uh, lights go back on. I've had this on for pretty much the whole day. So, the lights for the uh, LEDs are kind of a little bit weak. Um, I've been playing with this all day, just making sure the uh, servo mechanism is working okay. There's no problems, and there you go off again. Now, um, the nice thing is there's no servo buzzing. Uh, so the new software that I use for uh, the helmets will actually uh, take away the, the buzzing at the top and bottom of the servo throws. So ordinarily where you'd hear a whole bunch of buzzing at the top up there, it's not happening right now, so which is good. So, um, and then when you close it, the lights flicker and come on. So, um, and the lights don't come on until after it closes. So there's a whole bunch of changes I made, and once again, uh, there's no servo buzz, as you can hear. So, um, but that's the new uh, the new software for the Plalu chip uh, for the Iron Man helmet. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, there will be soon uh, kits available. So if you want to do something like this uh, for your helmet. Uh, I'll be selling the chips and the setup for it soon. Uh, hinges will be a base set of hinges uh, that will work for most helmets. Now, I can't guarantee that it'll work for all of them, uh, but if you guys are interested in uh, in a set of uh, hinges and the electronics setup, uh, now I'll either be doing a complete kit, uh, which is completely soldered, everything set up, uh, basically just ready to throw into the helmet, and then there'll be a, another version where you would have to put it together or assemble it yourself. So, uh, as I said, if you guys are interested in it, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.